<laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Talia. Um, today I'm baking. I, I feel like this is not my usual setting. You usually see me play and now I'm baking and that's how it is. So I'm going to be making what's supposed to be like a chest cake. So like when you cut it, it kind of opens up and it looks like a chessboard. I tried it at home. It went okay. I can't promise it went like that great. Also, I feel like I should make a disclaimer that I'm not like a professional baker. <laughs> I bake sometimes. I made ice cream once. It's, it's, it's like more or less how it goes. I've done like two toddler uh, birthday cakes, but like that's about it. So <laughs> I feel like that's as much as I can, I can claim, right? But this is all uh, part of the new exhibition that they have at the World Chess Hall of Fame called Check Please uh, Chess Dining and Decor. So um, I guess you can feel free to check it out. And yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing today. Is anyone excited? Uh, I am same amount of scared and excited. <laughs> but I think it's going to be good. So and hi, everyone who's in the chat already. Uh, I believe this is both um, I believe this is both uh, YouTube and Twitch. So it's, it's, you know, a lot of messages and a lot of people and I appreciate all of you for being here. And shall we get started? I'm gonna um, tie my hair up because you don't wanna really get it in the way of cooking and you're probably gonna see my double chin as I do this, but that's fine. That's how it is sometimes. And in the meanwhile, can anyone tell me the first step of baking? Please, anyone has any clue what it could be? I think I touched something here. Now it says something in the microwave. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> yeah, we'll find out later. If this, go, if this whole kitchen is set on fire, then oops, right? So <laughs> no, you don't check ingredients. You wash your hands. That's the first thing that you do. <laughs> I did that earlier. I was watching. I was watching some stuff, and then I did that earlier. Develop first the eggs. No, that's very far away from it. <laughs> no, uh, you just wash your hands, okay? Um, also, we preheat the oven, or at least I think we did. From what I have been told, this oven hasn't been used in a long time. <laughs> so <laughs> that's just how it is sometimes. Um, yeah, there, there are some people here with me just to make sure that I don't die in the fire. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's just how it's gonna be now. And um, I guess we should probably go ahead and get started as long as I don't break anything. And like I said, we're going to be making one chocolate cake and one vanilla cake, and then we're going to like layer them in a sophisticated, engineered way that you know makes it look like a chessboard. Right, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be just perfect. I don't know what I should grab. I guess I should already kind of start prepping what I need to add here, and then um, we're going to mix both of them in the mixer, put them in some pans, bake them, and I guess through that time I can be playing like some blitz and stuff. Okay, so yeah, don't forget eventually to like um, do some challenges on leeches. I believe there's a command for that that you guys can use. So, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna kind of go ahead and get started with the, with the ingredients of this thing. Wait, they were supposed to be here, but now they're not. It's fine, it's all fine. All right, so let's start with water. Am I on frame? I don't know if I am. Okay, let's start with water. I never use this fancy thing, so usually I just use like a glass at home. But it's fine, we're going to use this one. And we're going to use tap water because it's really good for you. Is it? I don't think it is. water really good. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, fine. That's great. Um, 
I also, uh, I'm not sure if there is like a specific way that you're supposed to, to mix it, but I just, the thing is that I bake at home and I have this logic. I have like this, I wouldn't call it like a scientific discovery, but I have like this theory, right? That it's fine as long as you do generally good. And if you see that something is going wrong, then you go and fix it, right? So I think that things should go relatively fine. Now we're going to use my favorite thing, which is eggs, and I am lying. If you don't know me already, you probably know that I don't like them. <laughs> but, oh, I probably shouldn't have break, oh, maybe I shouldn't have broken it. Because <laughs> this is a surface that I need to use. Um, yeah, maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Anyways, no one cares about that. Um, how are you guys doing today? Oh wait, why do I dislike eggs? I don't know, I just never got into them. I think it's because I copy my mom a lot and then she never liked eggs, right? So I never did. Same thing with fish, she never liked fish and I don't like fish either. So that's how it is. I'm picky with certain foods and eggs and fish I would say are two of those that I just really hate. But of course, you know, this doesn't taste like eggs, this is a cake, so I don't really care about that. Okay, now I gotta throw this away and wash my hands. Always wash your hands if you're dealing with this raw stuff. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't need to move too far away. Perfect. I don't wanna waste like paper towels, but I feel like I'll have to. Anyways. Um. I have more fun while cooking than playing chess. It could be, could be uh, true. I mean, uh, cooking, well, of course I love chess. Like that's, that's my big passion. It's what I love to do uh, professionally and as a hobby. Like if you ask my mom, what do I do other than chess? Probably she'll like stay quiet for like five seconds and try to come up with something with like some lie or whatever. <laughs> um, but I would say that cooking is kind of what I do to de-stress and usually I just have fun with it. And like, I mean, to be honest, I do more baking, uh, sorry, more cooking than baking, which I guess it's not a, an exact science, like you don't really worry too much about it. Um, one and a half cups, okay. But I would say that both of them are quite nice. Wait, I can't open this. <laughs> okay, got it. With my left hand, that's very nice, right? But yeah, usually I just like de-stress with cooking. And um, how many subs do I need to get? Like how many subs are you guys offering for me to drink this whole thing? <laughs> Cause it has to be a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a cameraman today. I have like some people here. Like I said, uh, I need like some supervision. Uh, to make sure that I don't set something on fire, right? Right, so I think this is all mixed. I think I'm going to like quickly mix it to make sure that everything is incorporated because I don't want like flour or powder to come up when I use the hand mix that is over there. So I just, I don't know, I'm always terrified of that. I see it in the movies and uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways. Um, I remember when I was, I was like practicing to do this at home and I don't have a hand mixer or at least I didn't have at the time. And uh, um, yeah, so I had to do it by hand and then it sucked because um, it wasn't as smooth or as good, right? Now we're going to do the same with this. Let me, maybe I should have done both at the same time but I thought that it would be too difficult. Now like lose track of things. I don't know if this happens to other people that stream. I don't know if there is anyone in the chat that like streams or has had any experience with it. But personally, I think that you lose like half of your brain cells when you're streaming because you're like paying attention to so many things. <laughs> so I feel like it would be just like a general struggle for me to um, bake and cook at the same time. We got one third. What is one third? Yeah, about there. That's fine. I think. Yep. Yeah. 
cool. Mm. Yeah, I'm making a chess cake, like I was saying. So essentially, it just means that um, I'm going to be making two cakes. One of them is chocolate, and this one is vanilla. And um, they're going to like bake separately. And eventually, we're going to like cut into them, do like surgery almost, and mix them so that when you open them, it kind of looks like a checkerboard. Oh my god. No, did I get shell on that? Maybe I did. Eh, it's fine. It's for crunch, right? Eh, should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'll use the, the excuse that I don't like cook with eggs that much. Because I don't like them. So. Do you guys have like a favorite dessert or something? No, I'm not doing a cake simul. Most I can do you is accepting challenges, but a simul, I struggle with that on its own. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way I'm baking and doing a simul at the same time. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, we're still we're still in theory, so that's all good. It's better than in my actual games. Usually in my games, I just uh, kind of wing it and. Uh, Maybe if I have like some theory from like five years ago, things are good. Although recently I've been getting to chessable courses, which I think are pretty nice for theory, especially once, you know, someone goes back to playing tournaments. I feel like chessable is like a really easy way to, to check and make sure because, you know, they have like the system where they force you to make moves. So I don't know if you guys have ever like checked out chessable right before playing, but I think it's a good prep um idea of course if you're like confident in the in the um, uh, i guess like in the chessable that you are purchasing cool i don't want to use this <sighs> okay in my house you know we're very cheap so we don't like to use paper towels that much but yeah it should be fine right <laughs> here i can do whatever i want not really, but you know, let's pretend I can. What courses am I doing? Uh, currently I am doing the Nidorf one with um, Giri. I think it's very like well known and it's pretty good. And I also got the, I think, I believe it's called Lifetime Repertoire with um, the, the Grunfeld and Swiddler. Yeah, those are the two that I'm doing right now. Once I finish them, I'll, I'll buy more. But I do, I do really like those two. Okay. I think it's time to use the hand mixer and I think I have to go there to do that. So um, I hope that you guys like the noise. What if I do like an ASMR? That'd be, <laughs> that would be terrible, I talk too much. Anyways, I think I'm gonna like take this over there and it should, I, it should be on frame. I hope, I don't know what's gonna happen. It's fine, so I'm gonna talk through, through this, right? That's how you're supposed to do it. Also, I haven't used a hand mixer in like years. It's not too bad. I thought it would be worse. I don't know if you can hear me, but like I thought it would be worse. Okay. Put it higher instead of <laughs> turning it off. Anyways, what I didn't think about it is that now I gotta use this for <laughs> the other one, which is fine. I can probably just like wash it or something. All right. Do you really wash it, or do you just yeah. like? No, I mean like, can't I just like put it on the other cake? It'll be fine. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it'll be fine. I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to clean it. It's fine. <laughs> I hope this is like some realistic cooking because this is how it is at my house. Otherwise, I would be very embarrassed if it wasn't realistic. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so this is perfect now. 
I don't know if I should, nah, it's fine. Let me just swindle this here. And I hope I can put this here and not make such a big mess. Ah, it's perfect, it's fine. Now I'll bring this one over here. Um, what are we cooking? It's a chess cake. It's fine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, who cares about it? Yeah. Uh, chessable courses on the ready opening. I don't know because I don't play it with either color. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure there would be. Also ready is like extremely popular nowadays. Uh, you can probably take a look at some games, for example, Nepomniachi against Alexenko in the candidates. Nepomniachi with the white pieces. I feel like that's a pretty good example of how the ready can go wrong for black. So you can just take a look at it and, you know, even if you don't have a course, you can probably just go to like um, chess base and, you know, browse through the uh, reference and you should be able to find like um, what the common moves are. And I would say that the reti in general is not like so heavy on aggressive chess, so you can probably have like flexible options in it, which is fine. And actually, since I fi just finished a tournament, um, since I just finished a tournament, I saw a bunch of people playing the ready opening over the board. So I feel like in general, you know, once we go back to playing tournaments more often, um, you're gonna see people play like more casual openings, like not so mainline openings, because they do really work well um, in blitz and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not saying that the ready is not mainline, of course it is, but I mean like openings that provide like no issues to white, Pro openings that are very calm, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah. Yeah, please donate and I'll mail you the cake. I mean. I'm pretty sure I can do that to the UK. Yeah, definitely, I can do that. So I don't know what the rules are with this glass bowl. I hope that I can mix stuff in it, but <laughs> if it breaks, then uh, we'll get views, right? So that's, that's just how it is. So, so far so good. Okay, that looks like good enough. Nice, so now I think I gotta take these two thingies and um, it's plugged in, maybe I need to unplug it first. And I should take off this like two thingies. It also has a button that says turbo and I didn't press it, but now I'm kind of tempted about it. And you take these two thingies and you put them in the sink and then you wash them. Not gonna do it now, but at the end I'll do it. That's why I tell my mom every time. <laughs> I never do it. <laughs> um, all right, let me just bring this here. And just get a paper towel. And I think we should probably put this on the other side too, and I should probably clean that surface because it looks bad. And maybe I should just like wash it as a whole. Probably I should wash it. Yeah, I did put X here, just in case. I don't see any of it, but it does feel weird not doing that. So let me just, maybe I should just like quickly. That's fine, that's perfect. And now we go to the next part, which is putting the cakes in the pans and then putting them in the oven. The oven, um, we had some <laughs> funny moments with the oven before starting. 
<laughs> well, we didn't know if it would like uh, work or not because apparently it's, it's not being used much. And I was saying, I have a theory that I think is correct. Um, the chess players are not the best cooks. Maybe today would be like the, the best way to prove <laughs> this theory. <laughs> but um, anyway, so apparently this oven hasn't been used that much. So that's, that's cool, that's interesting. <laughs> I don't know why, it just came to mind that I never explained where I was, so I could just be in like some, some warehouse. <laughs> this is just some montage of like, you know, some warehouse on the outsides of St. Louis where no one ever goes. Uh, Missouri, I should say, the like outsides of Missouri where no one ever goes. All right, let me just bring this back here. And then I'm gonna bring this here. And we're gonna put them in the pans. Um, Hannah's brain while we're baking? No. <laughs> ah, no, that's, that's terrible. Um, that's terrible. It's, is it my birthday? No, it's very far from it. I've said it before. Those, who, who knows, who knows when, my, when my birthday is? Because you should know. Very proud of it. I'm very proud of my zodiac sign. Um, what am I cooking? I'm doing a chess cake and I'm gonna put them in the pan. And are there chessable courses on the Kinsinian? I believe so. If not, there are some good books by Bologan, for example. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. I'm born in November, so it's like very far from my birthday. Um, where do I have the pants? Oh, over there. Do we ever get baking paper? Yes. Oh. Oh, this. Perfect. 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 Um, let me put this here. And then let me... Yeah, let's just do one at a time so that it doesn't get too messy. And let me take this away because we're not using it anymore. I guess I can just throw it away. And um, yeah. Do you guys have any funny stories from your kitchen? I feel like, I don't know. I was just saying earlier that I almost, uh, well, I've, I've almost set things on fire a lot before. And one time I, um, I learned the hard way that you're not supposed to mix hot oil with water. <laughs> And <laughs> I kind of slightly made a fire and then I got like burnt on my hand right here. And I was going to tell my mom like, hey, you know, I did this, uh, but nothing happened. And she was like, show me your arms. And then I, and then I did, but it wasn't physical. It was like over text. So I just sent her a photo and where I was like kind of hiding my hand. And then, <laughs> and then uh, later when we met like in person, right? And we went to, the store, she still didn't know that I had that. I also had like a hoodie on and I was trying to cover it. And we went to the store with, to buy some jeans or something and I was in the fitting room. And then somehow, I, while I was putting on clothes, I just accidentally slammed my head into the mirror of the, of the, of the uh, changing uh, room thing. And <laughs> somehow the mirror didn't have edges so I caught myself in the exact same place where I had, where I had the burn and then I could, fake that it was all from the cut and that I never burned myself. I never told my mom that I <laughs> that I burned myself. Uh, I don't have a mark or anything, so I guess that's pretty lucky, but that's one of my stories in case you're wondering. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's how it is. One time I put a bag of soft taco shells from Chipotle in the microwave and forgot that there was metal in the bag which started a little fire, but it was put out quickly. Okay, that's cool, that's fine. If it was put out quickly, that's fine. Wait, how do I do this right? Okay. Think. Maybe I need to fold it. Also, I'm not exactly sure why my bosses chose me to do this thing. I feel like there can be more qualified people to do all of this. Um, but my boss was like, you know, if it sucks, it's even better. More views and more content, you know? 
So that's that's very uh, you know it feels nice when your boss says that. And um, yeah, so now I gotta do this to make it fit, which I am a little bit insecure about. But it'll be fine. That's what I say, right? I always say that it'll be fine. Sorry if it's making a lot of noise. Uh, but I always say that things will be fine, and usually they are. So that's that's good. Is this okay? Is this how you do it? I'm not sure. You just like... <laughs> you have Ben over there going like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask. <laughs> do, do you think that this is okay? To put the... Yeah. That, <laughs> um, that doesn't sound very confident. Um, it should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be fine. Now I gotta pour this in here, which is the fun part. Oh no, the spoons are in the washer. Oh no. Well, I can use like this. That's fine. This will do. Um, they are saying Ben can't bake or cook. <laughs> he just said the status. That's right. <laughs> oh wait, hold up. I need to mix a little this because I just threw flour in there from the bottom, but it's fine. It's all fine. Not more. I'm worried that this is too big. I hope it isn't. If it's if it's a thin cake, then that's fine because um, I probably needed to cut it anyway. So someone is talking outside. I wonder what they're talking about. Probably they're looking at here and they're like, what's going on? <laughs> I thought they were chess people. Anyways, we're gonna try and get all of what's in there so that, um, first of all, you get more cake, and second of all, um, there's no second of all. <laughs> um, Yeah, we're entering the middle game right now. That's pretty cool, right? I mean, we got through the opening. That's usually the toughest part, getting through those uh, um, fried livers, right? Fried liver, exactly what you want to hear in a baking stream. Um, oh, isn't there like some chocolate variation or something? Now that I'm reminded, is it like E4, F5 takes king of seven? Is that what the chocolate is? I'm not sure. I think I heard it when I was a child and I never heard about it again. Which makes sense, it's not real. But recently I learned that there was a thing called a Traxler. I didn't know that was a thing. But I mean, um, there are many openings that I don't know of, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me being embarrassed in cooking, I'm not particularly like extremely embarrassed, but uh, I mean, um, if this goes terrible, then I will be a little bit embarrassed. Um, all right, so I think I got like most of it out. I'm gonna try and scrape the bowl a little bit. One of my proudest baking creations, I so I made a tres leches cake once, but it was actually like a four leches because I used. Um, like dulce de leche on top, which is condensed milk that you burn pretty much. It's really good. So that's that's the one thing that I know how to do best. I feel like I didn't do this right. Ah, maybe it's okay. Maybe this goes here and then this goes on top of it. And then you scrape it to the edges. Ben is overseeing this, like, what is she doing? <laughs> It'll be fine. Sorry, I kind of uh, put the same intensity on this that I do for my games. That's not true, but let's pretend it is. Talking about that, I just finished a tournament. I didn't do very well in it, but, you know, that's how it is sometimes. I played Chicago Open. Shout out to you if you played Chicago Open. I did meet some people um, online. I mean, that I know online at the Chicago Open. 
So that was pretty cool. Um, I think this one is good, but I want to put them in the oven at the same time just to make sure that like there is no um, unevenness, right? So let's just put this over here for now. And then let's take the other one of these guys and try to fold it again in a way that doesn't look terrible. <laughs> yeah, Chicago was an over the board tournament, which is nice. It's funny because it's like compared to last year, compared to last year, you see so many people nowadays using like merch from streamers, which is nice because um, you support streamers and all. But it's kind of funny to see because it feels like, you know, chess grew so much over this last year online. And then now you're seeing like so many players with uh, streamers merch and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, in Germany, you don't have any over the board tournaments yet. Well, hopefully they can start back up soon because it is very fun to, to play, especially if you like develop some new friendships online over this year and then now you want to, you know, you can meet them, so that's nice. You had four over-the-board games yesterday in your kitchen. Okay, I don't know how that works, but it's not like I'm doing any better here, so that's fine. Um, yeah, it's 2021, let's normalize uh, cooking in chess channels. That's how it is now. I mean, it's, uh, does this make me a, variety streamer because I mean I, I could be for sure so yeah thank you yeah uh, I mean I am a rather decent chess player I hope that I can bake something also you can't see but my dress has like little cherries on them it's a shame because I don't like them but I mean I feel like they go with the theme <laughs> Uh, let me just wash this real quick. I feel like I'm getting water everywhere. And one thing that I forgot to say, which I believe like most of you kind of know already, uh, I'm reminded now because this patrola my mom got for me, but um, she, uh, before we, before I got here, she was like, "Come on, let me take you to the store, and then let me get you some, some." Um, how did I just rip the paper? Um, <laughs> let me get you some appliances, right, for the show that you have to do today. She got really excited about it. And for those of you who don't know, my mom has a food truck here in St. Louis. It's called Havana's Cuisine. I feel like that's one. That's that's uh, you know maybe we can't show brands on this on this channel, but I feel like. Havana Squeezing would definitely be a sponsor of this, right? Yeah, so that's fine for me to say, right? So I hope that there is, uh, there is no problem with that. It's just my mom, like I can just tell her it's fine. And uh, yeah, it's not like she's gonna copyright things or whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this second thing here. Let me just make sure that it's, it seems to be well mixed, so that's good. And maybe I shouldn't have put it in this now. Yeah. Maybe I just, yeah, let's just pour it. And then I'm gonna, this one's heavier, but it seems like it's going on so much smoothly. Um, does this look satisfying? I mean, it's, it, I like it. I like how it looks. Now I gotta handle this and then pour this here, but my hands are small and they don't have enough strength to do that. <sighs> Shout out to the people who have small hands. That's how it is sometimes. However, I can hold an entire chest set in my hands, both of them. So I feel like that's impressive in some extent. Can you guys do that? I don't know, maybe I have like way too much time on my hands that I know I have that skill. Also, <laughs> uh, when I went to this tournament in Chicago, uh, you are kind of supposed to bring your own chest set. Um, and I forgot that the chest set that I have on my travel bag is the one that I use for like practice, right? It's like, let's say I'm prepping someone and I'm gonna do some preparation. 
Um, and then I bring this ch the chest set, right? I forgot that I had to play with it, too. And the, the thing is that uh, <laughs> I have like a set of like, for a visual, you know, representation. I have a set, you know, where the pawns look like this. And then I have one random pawn that looks like this. <laughs> and my opponents were like so weirded that I'll buy it. And then when they realized it, it was like, because usually I put it on A or H file. And then when they realized it, it's like, oh, wait, let me trade it. And yeah, it was, it was kind of funny. It was just one chunky pawn. <laughs> it was hilarious. Okay. Anyway, so I think I got the two cakes ready. I'm going to put this away real quick. And then we can put them in the oven. And um, I don't know what comes after that. But yeah. <laughs> also, the oven is down here. It, it seems hot, so I hope that like it was actually doing the job that the oven is supposed to do. We're a bit worried because it, it's, it's, it kind of smelled a little bit burnt when we turned this on, but I think it should be, should be okay. My mom also got me oven mitts, but who uses those anyways? I mean, after being emotionally scarred so many times by losses, you kind of uh, lose all sense of touch anyways. So let me just put this here. And let me get this one. And then we put both of them at the same time, and then we wait for like, I don't want to say like a specific amount of time because it's never specific. I don't care if a recipe tells you like some specific time. It never is, you know? You just poke uh, a fork. I don't have a toothpick. I should have probably asked for it. But you can just poke a fork and then you figure out, you know, from then uh, if it's cooked or not. Because if it has like batter in the fork when you stick it out, you can use a fork or a knife, both of them work. Um, but not a sharp knife, because then it loses the sharpness. Anyway, so when you just like stick something in, if it has batter in it, then it's not ready. And if it comes out clean, then it's all fine. So that's usually how I know. But yeah. Uh, what is my favorite opening as black and white that I like to play? Huh. With the white pieces, I don't know exactly. I really like the four pawns. I feel like it's very, against the Quincinian, I feel like it's very interesting. Um, also the Semish, I quite like. I think I have good results with it. I played this crazy game on my last round of the tournament in the Semish, it was so good. And with the black pieces, I just like the Nidorf. Why? Because I have an emotional attachment to it. Is it Sane? Probably not. Neither of has so many variations. Like, it's impossible for me to learn everything. And something new is happening every day. Like, literally, when um, Caruana beat MVL in the candidates, for like, uh, like two days later, I got some, some lines in that same variation um, from white. It was the bishop g5 with some c3 novelty. And I was like, huh, people are really learning. And then, you know, there are always so many lines. It's so extent, but I mean, it's really fun to play and it does really bring you chances in case you're um, needing them in your tournament situation. So I really like those openings. Uh, eventually I'll get into playing e4, but for now I just play d4 as usual. Oh, right. I should probably have a timer for this. I don't know how to do it here. Um, but I can just set a timer on my phone and I hope it'll be fine. I can look. 20 minutes? Yeah, we can check in like 20 minutes. Uh, yeah. Right, so I think since I'm not doing anything right now, later we can do like whatever in case I should have been doing it now. Um, <laughs> but we can play some games now in case you guys want. So you can feel free to challenge um, in case you want. So yeah. Wait, is this not the St. Louis Chess Club? St. Louis Chess Club, yeah, just say it. Maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, p please challenge the St. Louis Chess Club. Like, that's the that's one account that, you know, uh, I have here. So that makes sense. Oh, would you look at that? I already have some challenges. This is like the, this is like the, uh, you know, like the, the little challenge accepted that I do after, uh, 
ladies class on Thursdays, but I'm doing it now on a Wednesday. Wednesdays are weird days, don't you ever think about it? And, <laughs> and um, you thought you would learn a new recipe? Look at my games, look at these two bishops that I'm about to develop. I mean, that, that, that's the recipe for disaster for my opponent. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Anyways, I'm comfortable with the position that I have. Um, yeah, this is not a gaming stream exactly. So I mean, that's just that's just how it is. This is what this is what a variety streamer can do for you. Okay, so um, yeah, that's just how it is. So uh, let me bring the stroop over here. You guys can see the board and the time and everything fine, right? All right. Now I have two pawns in the center. Uh, my two bishops are kind of pointing in that direction. Kind of tempted to do some uh, d5 stuff so that I can, you know, open up the other bishop and have some tricks. But I don't know if it's too early to do that. I don't know if it's too early to do that. I think I'm going to put this rook to the center and so that all of my pieces are cohesive. And... If he's going to give me the bishop pair, I don't think I'm anyone to not accept it. So, yeah. All right. Let's bring our pieces up. And it almost feels like he has, like, uh, little space in the position. Like, his pieces can't really comfortably go to places. And if he does this, I think I managed to, like, you know have some stuff on this side of the board now. So let's just jump up with the knight. Healthy, not too dry position develop. Yeah, I, I generally like those setups. Oh, hold up. We have some tricks. I told you, the bishops. The bishops were the key. And now I, I took that. I don't know how to proceed though, because he does have the bishop pair, even though I took the queen, and this bishop right here could be in a better diagonal. But I mean, it's, it's a nice improvement, I think. Let me probably bring this rook here so that I can try to fight for some, you know, activity on the file. That's not really something that I was expecting. The rook going over there. Let's go here and hope that the two bishops are not terrible. And let's hope that I also have some sneaky threats, right? Because <laughs> those are always nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Winning the queen is a nice improvement. That's, that's you know, what we can call it a best, right? And now we have a mating too, which is nice. GG's. Cool. Um, as Danish would say, boom, nice. All right, so GG's DWI. Now let's play UFO. UFO has some nice uh, Grunfeld prep, but I'm also black pieces in this game. Imagine the, 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 that I forget, like imagine that I'm doing this at home in a much more casual way. And I completely like forget that I'm baking and <laughs> and then like an hour later i'm like oh yeah i was baking cake but i got to 2500 blitz so that's what matters uh that's the one roasting that we did am i right <laughs> that's terrible all right um like i said you know this bishop g5 neither is like becoming i mean it's always popular but like nowadays i feel like it's even more popular yeah <laughs> For me, winning the queen is just a normal developing move. That's how it is sometimes. Yeah, this is a poison pawn variation. Of course, we want the pawn to be poison and not the cakes, am I right? <laughs> uh, they're not that great, to be honest. Uh, I can try better for the pawns, but it's fine. Um, okay, wait, do I have knight takes here? Because it does look nice. Knight takes, and then bishop takes, and then pawn here, and then I go back. Nothing is hanging, and I did take his bishop, which is nice. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I feel like usually you go bishop c2, and I guess that's the reason why. Bishop c2 and then queen c7. That's usually how the main line goes. So it also works now because my queen is not on d8, so you know, it's not under attack, right? Now g3, and now we go back. I feel like, you know, if I just gain the center, it should be fine. Also, this is like a weird angle for me because like it's too low, but I'm also very short, so this is very surprising. Um, but for someone that generally has terrible posture, this is, you know, make it an even worse. Anyways, so let's just develop our pieces and be fine, be solid. I hope that the, my hair is not getting to the mic. Mm. Como me fue en Chicago? Uh, me fue okay. No fue nada especial. De hecho, probablemente perdí bastante de lo. I was saying that I probably lost a lot of rating in Chicago just now, but that's fine. Usually in my tournaments, I can lose a ton of rating. And then in the next one, gain it back, back up like it was nothing. So I'm not too worried. It's just kind of like, you know, when you lose games or you do badly in a tournament, it's... Uh, you can cry about it, you can be sad about it, there's nothing wrong with that, you can let out your emotions, but at the same time, you can kind of realize that maybe that wasn't you, the one that was playing, and that you can do so much better than that, and that, you know, you just kind of need to wake up again. That's usually how I call it, just waking up again. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I think that it's not such a big deal and that you can always do better and that, you know, how should I say this in a way? Like you, you probably shouldn't be sad about it because you can do so much better in the future. And it does kind of lead to some emotional roller coasters when all of your tournaments are like plus 50 points, minus 40 points, you know, but that's how it is sometimes. I just gained like 50 points in my last tournament. Now I'm losing a ton too, so ah, it'd be like that. <laughs> to put the laptop on the cake stand? Oh, no, this cake stand. Would that be a funny idea? Probably not. I would probably ruin the cables. Yeah. Um. So I, oh, I have this nice idea. What's happening with you guys today? It's like, um, you guys are giving me your queens. This is so fun. I get to, I get to uh, bake the cake and eat it too, right? <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, um, yeah. How often do I get the poison pawn variation of the Nidorf? Um, quite often, actually. If I have to pick from, from like all of the, all of the lines that White can do on most six, I feel like it's very common to, to play the bishop g five Nidorf, and oftentimes I just kind of go for some sidelines too like for example in my tournament i had two h3 nidors which i think is not that common so um sometimes you get those bishop e2 i would say is also quite popular and then those english attack ideas are usually like the main thing i would say but it feels like nowadays so many more people are playing like lines that are not necessarily bad they're just very rare which can be good like for example knight b3 or move six um a3 h4 h3 you know all of this sideline ideas and you know if, if you know them well they can be pretty good so that's the one thing about the neither if it gives like so many options to white so yeah but okay ggs ufo mm. i don't know if they i don't know if i should check on them <coughs> already or not probably not probably they're okay in there okay that's a lie. The kitchen smells the same. No, you can smell it. You can smell it? It smells like cake. Really? Oh, I smell nothing. Okay. <laughs> That's probably a problem. All right. 
let's go to the next challenge. Um, now we got five minutes, which is cool. Hmm. Actually, the one played against uh, the one game I played against the GM, I got to play against Shabalov in the tournament. Great guy, by the way. Um, it was a uh, touch, so I'm just reminded of it now. Yeah, Caleb did a whole series on the Night Drive. There is a lot of content out there that you can get for it. Like, Caleb did a series. You can go to Chessable and find the Giri uh, series. Chess Space had a really, really nice um, Night Drive course with Kasparov many years ago. Um, yeah, there are a ton of options, you know. You can look and find. Worst case scenario, you can go through the Night Drive with the book or with just the opening database. And why I don't recommend books on this time is that, you know, the Night Drive kind of uh, evolves very quickly. So maybe a book is a little bit outdated. But if you find a book that has like general plans for certain positions, it can be nice. Although, like I said, you know, plans change and evolve. So yeah. Let's take here. And then I'm going to castle. Probably put my knight on c3, play knight f4, knight d3, stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> Worst cake scenario. Very nice. You guys are getting, you guys are getting my, uh, you know, we're connecting our brain cells to maybe form one by the end of the stream. Um, so yeah. See you later, money. You can rewatch the stream later and uh, know if I burned the kitchen or not. Yeah. Um, also, I believe that, should I say that this will be turned? Sure. Yeah, this will be turned into a YouTube video later, which is like hopefully edited so I don't look like an idiot. So, <laughs> so you know, you can also watch that eventually when it comes out. Um, so yeah, not at four. I like that I'm doing this with the tempo and the bishop. Probably they want to go back this way, but I'll keep on developing like normal. Uh, that feels a little weird. It feels as if it shouldn't be right. But I don't know if I want to take so quickly because, you know, my knight is better than that bishop, so I think I'm going to develop this knight first. Um, who knows? Maybe I haven't thought exactly of the decoration that I'm going to do on the cake, so maybe if I have like some luck, I can like put a certain opening on the top. Um, Okay, now they castle long, which is like another thing that I'm not so sure about. It doesn't feel correct, but what should I do? Hmm. What should I do here? I feel like I should get my bishop out of the way, but there is no like good square to do that just yet. So... Hmm. I'm gonna go rook here with the idea of b4. I don't care if he takes the pawn because it opens up the files. So yeah. Um. <laughs> St. Louis Cake Club? Oh, that's funny. I like that. All right, let's just go on the attack. I could also play knight g6, but I think that's not necessary right now. Let's just, you know, push, 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 and... Um, See what happens. Mm. Okay, so he took with the bishop. Now I'm gonna go knight here. And the good thing is that now this file is open. So maybe I can play like a3 and queen b3. Now I'm starting to smell it. Now I'm starting to smell it. It does smell quite nice here now. Yeah. Three minutes? Okay, I'll check on them after this game is done. Or I could do both at the same time. It's my opponent's turn. I wonder, do we have... Oh, I should show you guys the knives that we have here. Look, I didn't bring any of them from home, but look at this. This one's pretty nice, right? <laughs> we have some knives here. Like I said, you probably don't want to use a sharp knife. I believe this one's for, like, vegetables and stuff. Um, but you don't usually want to use, like, a sharp knife to... Stop the cake. Um, 
you would usually just want to use like a regular one. I imagine we have some of those. Yeah, this is this is fine. This one's better. Um, okay, my opponent made a move, so I should probably do something. If I go h a3, he can go knight c3, but then I play takes takes queen b3, and it's all great. So that's probably fine. Yeah, let's go a3. Um, yeah, let's tap the cake a little bit and see how it's going. Um, damn it, these racks are like too close to each other. I don't know how to do this without breaking something. I feel like it's not done yet, but... Oh, it's more cooked than I expected. Okay, I'm not even gonna touch the other one. That's fine. Let's just put this... Where is it not on frame? If I put it here, will it be fine? Yeah, let's put it there. Um... Okay, so I also have bishop e4 and knight c5, which does look pretty nice. In fact, I think I'll play it. Um, yeah, and then I may be winning a piece, so that's cool. Don't slap the laptop. Don't worry, I wouldn't do that. Um, I didn't know that Carlsen slammed his computer once. One time I was hanging out with someone, uh, like doing some chess work. <laughs> this is very funny. Um, I was doing some chess work with someone and then we're both staring at a position, right? Because we're analyzing on the computer. It was his computer, right? And then all of a sudden, you know, with a serious face, we're both calculating on the position. He goes, and then he just like, uh, you know, hits the computer. And then he's like, gosh, I hate this so much. I couldn't stay in the hotel because I couldn't afford it. So I went to go, uh, I went to to my family's house, right? But then my aunt, she was here at the same time and she got the bed. So I had to sleep in the sofa and then I feel like death. I hate everything. And then I was just like, okay, wait, what? <laughs> like, how does that involve me? Like, why are you telling me? And it was just, it was just, uh, you know, just a funny day. Lots of unexpected stuff. Anyways, I think I should take and then take on e6 and I'm doing pretty good. I think he, he left like a little dent or something on his computer. It was, it was interesting. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just very unexpected. I wasn't really expecting it. Um, now I take this and I believe I'm a piece up. I don't think I want to take with the other knight just so that this doesn't hang. But you know, it's kind of a winning position. So I feel like this should be in there based on my non-baker estimate. Um, for like maybe 10 more minutes. So, but we'll see. The the white cake did look quite nice already. Also, like how do you ever tell that a chocolate cake is done? Because it's like, if, if it burns, you can't really see it. So, <laughs> he almost choked. <laughs> um, no, but like for real, like how, how do you know? Is it like until you smell like, it getting burnt um yeah i know i'm supposed to poke it that's what I, that's what i did i don't have a toothpick so i used a knife um but yeah i i know that it's just that you know sometimes you just wonder like how how do you know okay let's just go here with the rook and now this is just technique to win the game because i already have a piece up so if the rook goes to d8, I probably trade. If he takes with either piece, I guess I can take on h5, which is nice. So, yeah, I'll probably do I'll I'll probably do a, a stream on this later, maybe for tomorrow Thursday. But I had this one game at Chicago Open, which was just insane. It was my last round game. I did briefly mention it before um, on my Discord. So I'm very active on Discord. But I did mention that um, I had this one game that was very wild. And um, it started as a sandwich, right? Against the King's Indian. And after I played the sandwich, I was going to be, I was going to, I was thinking, you know, like, crap, maybe I should have played the four pawns because it's more aggressive. It's the last round of the tournament. I don't care anymore. And I was like, well, that was a missed opportunity. And then I got the craziest game. Ooh, that's a timer. Ooh, I don't think it's done, but um, let me just 
take one of this and then let me clean this up. And is it my turn? Oh yeah, it is my turn. Sorry, we care more about the game than the cake. The cake can burn, but I need to win this game. Otherwise, our rating will be burnt. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully the cake doesn't drop. Oh, it's so much better than before. Nice. Okay, now let's try the other one. I think the other one may be done. Also, wait, I have one minute here. Um, <laughs> oh, I could take this pawn and then have this. Um, yeah, let's take this guy. Oh, we have plus um, two second incoming. Okay, I can win this with that. And let me put this back here. And... Ooh. Wait, hold up. Ah, I need to win this and then pre-move this. Wait, no pre-moves allowed on this computer? What? No pre-moves allowed? Okay, I'll just win the game real quick. Hopefully. Or maybe not. I don't know. I mean, my instinct is to just trade everything down and then eventually win. Um, oh, I... I do I see a nice technique? No, I can just take the spawn and then go back or something. And then I take this guy too, that's nice. And probably shouldn't leave the oven open for this long. Okay, now I have this, perfect. And then I take this and uh, yeah. Let me check on the other cake real quick. Oh, I think I almost burnt myself. Ooh, the other one is not cooked at all. That's uh, <laughs> not ideal. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me just close that. And... Uh, uh, wait. Did the game end? Oh, okay. The game ended. Cool, I won. That's what matters. Alright, I think one of them we can take out. The other one we can't just yet. I had some oven mitts somewhere. Oh, here, here. Perfect. This is too big and too bothersome, but safety, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think I use this at home? No, I don't, but my mom bought it because she wants me to be professional. Anyways, maybe I, is it okay if I put it on top of wood like that? Should be fine, right? Let me just push this to the side and move this like here or something. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I can't get it with this. Okay, I got it. Perfect. Looks fine, right? I think it's done. I'm not sure now. Yeah, I should leave it on for... You think it, it's good? Well, you're the expert. <laughs> All right. Um, I've got to tie my shoes. No, I, I, I don't have shoelaces. I'm wearing heels. Why do you think I look so tall right now? Um, either way, I think we should probably leave this other one on, but lower the heat a little bit if I know how to do that. I'm not exactly sure how that is done. Um, I'm very confused. Mm. It's not cooking time. Bake, and then now it says, oh. Um, um, oh, I think I got it. Let's put it on 300 and then start. Perfect. Oh my God, I'm so good at this. No, this don't go here. This probably should go like here or something. And I should probably let this set. Um, I don't know if I should put it on like the fridge or... The fridge is a little scary. Um, yeah. Um, anyways, so I think... I think what's best is to put it on the fridge. So I don't know if... It's not even hot. Why did I even bother? Um, that's fine. It's not hot. 
But okay. Yeah, I think we should probably put it in the fridge. I don't know what that sound was. Ooh, thank you. Be careful. It might be hot. <laughs> Yeah, this is great. Um, <laughs> yeah, perfect. It's all going perfect. Um, yeah, so we let this cake like sit in there. It doesn't, I don't know if it's baking or not. I think it is because it says on. So that should indicate that it's good, right? You know who, you know who was also surprised by the cooking show? Talia yesterday. Yeah, I thought it was on Saturday. I forgot that it was today. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, how are we supposed to know if you look tall? Well, I could take my high heels off and then I'll be like this, maybe. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so <laughs> let's just continue with some challenges while the other cake is finish baking and then eventually I think we can take that one out of the fridge uh, hopefully with less struggles and uh, put it here and now we're going to start cutting it and leveling it and all of that so I'll just take another challenge in the meantime should I accept a casual challenge I feel like usually I accept just straight it I don't know that's what Tracy tells me to do and I never do it um, Let's just go for this casual. All right. Are you guys enjoying the stream? This is not my usual content, but it's also like same vibe, I think, you know? Okay, let's just, are we gonna get a Grunfeld? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys because I was doing all of this, but I forgot to tell you, yeah, the game that I played on my last run of Chicago Open, so interesting. Um, I had like a crazy position out of the middle game and it almost looked like I was about to checkmate my opponent but it never actually happened and also yeah let's do that and also mm, we eventually traded down into an end game and the end game uh, we had like seven pass pawns total or something all in different files it was insane i think it was the a file the only one that didn't have a pass pawn and i also had like one minute it was all you know very chaotic but it was very fun yeah okay i think i'm gonna go here um i don't know if i want to allow takes maybe i should just like go back or play b5 i don't see h5 as like such a big worry Maybe h5, you know. Yeah, it's okay, it doesn't look like a huge deal. If he takes, I just take it, and that, that looks okay. He did give up his bishop, though, which is fine. Perfect, so he didn't do that. And now I could go here, perhaps. And then when the bishop goes back, I go bishop f5. Oh, never mind. Now I just get to take this. And I feel like I have a lot less worries once he doesn't have the pair of bishops. So that's cool. Let's go here. I wonder what he's gonna do with his king. I think I can castle and I'll be fine. Play like knight g4 or something. Um, yeah, and then, you know, if he takes, I take. And if he plays f3, knight e3 is hanging. And I also have ideas of f6, e5, which I think are good in general. Like, or, or I guess e5 right away. I mean, the point here is that you need to find some sort of counterplay as black, or like a way to open up the position because white's king is also kind of iffy, so. Um, 
I guess we could do this right away. Takes and then d4 maybe, but I also kind of want to play f6 first so that I kick this knight out. Maybe just this right away is uh, the best continuation. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about e5, and then if f6, pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, and then you take on c3, which I think is fine. Yeah, let's just see what happens. I got a notification here on the computer that says um, either restart now or wait an hour. Restart now. <laughs> Would you imagine? Um, do I just click on wait an hour and then see? Like, I hope it doesn't, like, accidentally, you know, without telling me restarts or something. Yes, we have to do that. Yeah. Also, how is this cake doing? It looks better. You're not supposed to open it that many times because it releases the steam, but, um, you know, no one cares. Okay, knight takes, and now this position, I would say, looks quite solid. You resent yours as rated. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, check out the challenge later. I'll try to go in order of the people who challenge, you know, but we'll see. So I think I'll go here again. And now I just, in the future, have some ideas of this. Oh, actually, I could eventually like put my bishop on this diagonal, and it would be a good diagonal for it. But yeah. Don't say takes, say cake. Okay, that's gonna be hard. But this position looks fine. And, uh, hopefully, you know, he makes a mistake. Okay, a4, I wasn't considering that at all. I thought that he would, like, castle or something. Um, could play queen f6, I guess. Could play queen f6. Rook e1 also makes sense if you think about it. Did I say rookie one? I meant rookie eight. But okay, I think I'm gonna go here just to, you know, put some pressure on this pawn. And still, I'm kind of asking the king what it wants to do because if it castles long, you just played a4, so maybe I can play like even b5 or something. Ah, so he castled short. Um, but now I feel like I can have some tricks. I'm not sure if they would work, but. You know, some tricky ideas. <laughs> Do you steak, steak, steaks or cake, cake, cake? By Eric Rosen. That should be put into a mixtape mm, that comes out this summer. Uh, it's okay, I just press um, check back on me in an hour and then hopefully I'll do that. Okay, I can go bishop here and bishop here and to be honest that does look qu quite nice. So um, I don't see why I shouldn't play it. Also, I'm developing my piece, which is good. Um, one kind of drawback of when you play h4 is that oftentimes g uh, g4 can be um, like a good spot for a piece. Same way that, you know, it was g5, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, g5, you may not have as many threats. Also, I can kick it away easier because I don't have a pawn on the e file, and you do. So if you play f3, that's going to weaken that. Um, but I would say that my position looks quite nice right now. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully the cake is going as nice. Okay, perfect. So now I do have some ideas of this, but I don't think they quite work just yet, unfortunately. 
I could go here, I guess, but I still don't know what that does. Let's just amp up the pressure and double up the rooks. Because I can. So far, I don't think taking here quite works. Oh, wait. Maybe I had some crazy idea with like takes on bishop d3 or something. But I don't, I don't know, it, it still looks a bit sketchy, so. Um, yeah. King g2, that also looks quite sketchy, but I'm just gonna bring my rook over. At least now I don't have like the 93 queen g3 stuff, right? My position looks really nice. <laughs> Now, this pin could be very annoying if he doesn't do anything about it. Maybe I'm gonna swing my queen to this side now. And uh, it'll look nice. I don't know if I have a better move, but this looks quite good. Oh, I don't know if that was the best. Okay, maybe he had f3, and I didn't consider that deeply enough. Now I'll swing my stuff to the h-file. And I think I can win with g5, for example. I could trade, and I could also not trade. In fact, I'm threatening rook takes h4. Maybe even queen takes h4. That would be funny. What am I cooking? It's a chess cake. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I was explaining my hatred for X back when I was doing that step. Um, I mean, it makes sense. All right, did the, did the game finish? I think so, because neither time is running. So, GG's. GG's. Oh yeah, I did finish. It says it up top. Sorry, the design here is a little weird. But yeah, now that we're done, let's check the cake again and see if it's not burnt. It is not. Perfect. Ooh, it's clean. That's nice. Perfect, it's perfect. Um, cool. What happens if I get it out with my hands? Not that hot. It's not as hot. Okay, uh, I should stop messing around. <laughs> Let me just get this. Um, yeah, if my mom got them for me, I should probably wear them so that I know I don't, uh, you know, I told this story earlier, for those of you who were here, I told this story earlier of how I accidentally burnt myself and I disguised it by accidentally turning it into a cut. Anyways, uh, I don't want to do that again with my mom. So let's just um, look at how cute it looks. Oh my gosh, perfect. It is not burned. Yeah, because burn, uh, you know, he had like this very unfortunate game against Bobby Fischer. Although we're not doing fish today, we're just doing cakes. <sighs> Stupid. Okay, I was gonna rip the paper out, but I can't do that. So I probably need to put this in the oven. <sighs> I probably need to put this, not in the oven, in this. <laughs> um, and then maybe take the other one out. If you want, I can, I can try to help. We probably need to get the one in the fridge out and then put this one here. Um, do you want the oven mitts? Okay. Yeah. Yay. I feel a little insecure with the fact that it has a crack on it. Also, it's kind of hot at the bottom, so maybe we should just put it back and like wait a little bit. Because, oh. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want it to be hot, because if it's hot, then it's going to be a lot harder to cut. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, maybe just let it chill there for a moment. Yeah, yeah it'll be fine. No, there is no fish stream. I'm not. I'm not eating fish. I'm not confu uh, c consuming fish. I'm not fishing. I. I won't do any of those things. Although, if you pay me enough, I mean, 
anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs> right. I can go to Missouri River or something and then just like hang out there in the corner. Um, I'm gonna pause these cameras and we'll just we'll just stream exclusively until the cakes are ready. If that's okay. Uh, I don't know what that means. Well, you agree? Yeah. yeah, we're not doing cakes right now. Yeah, we're not doing cakes right now. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, Bobby fishing streaming the. In the Mississippi River, yeah, exactly. That's that's you know, maybe maybe one day we can get to that derailed moment. Anyways, let's go to the next challenge, okay? Now I'm just gonna be playing and talking for a bit until the cakes are um, chilled. So, yeah. Oh, we're we gonna get another night or. Oh, never mind. <laughs> this needs to become a thing on Food Networks from now on. I haven't watched Food Networks in like a really long time. Didn't they, didn't they, uh, you know, get a lot of hate because they made like this really weird popcorn salad? Have you heard of it? It's like they got popcorn and then they put in like mayo and then like, like a... Imagine like a potato salad, but with popcorn instead of potatoes. It was really weird. They said that it was a very common traditional jummy thing, but it's just weird. <laughs> and they got a lot of hate for it. So yeah, that's that's what I can remember <laughs> from from um, Food Network. Anyways, you know, great channel. Um, all right, let me just uh, focus on this game for a bit. I think I can play E6 because if you take, 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 I can just develop my queen and there is no problem. So I'm gonna do this right now and hope that I didn't blunder like a bishop takes or something. Yeah, Farson remembers. He knows what I'm talking about, yeah. Anyways, I believe now we're just going to like do some natural development and then, you know, get our pieces out, regular Sicilian stuff. Oh yeah, the oven's still on. Maybe I should turn it off. Um, okay, I pressed clear off and kind of stopped doing what it was doing. Uh, okay, let's go here and hope that it's fine. <laughs> it might start a food war. I've never been in one of those. You know how I like in movies sometimes, like those high school movies, they show that then suddenly out of nowhere they have like a food bottle at the cafeteria. I've never been in one of those and I feel like I would excel because I have really good aim. So I just feel like it would be, <laughs> like it would be, you know, I would be decent at those. <laughs> but for real, I have really good aim. I, <laughs> I always hit the eye somehow. Um, and when I mean the eye, I mean my sister's eye, but, you know, it's a, it's a quality I am proud of, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, this position, I don't want it to get a little too out of hand. Maybe I should do this. Then, you know, eventually get this knight out. Oh, my sister is here. Hi. How are you, Dark J. Siegel? I didn't think you would tune in. That's my sister, everyone. Dark J. Siegel here in the chat. Yeah, she can confirm, right? <laughs> that B4 is a bit annoying. But I think I can take, I don't know what the risk is, but I mean, after takes, 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 how bad can it be? I'm just a pawn up and there is no concrete attack on my king. So let's go for it. My sister really likes the Bob Ross um, emote. It doesn't make sense because she paints. Um, but yeah, I find it cute. Anyways, let's push this pawn, consolidate this knight. If he plays f3, I just go back, I think. Yeah, we're cooking today, in case uh, someone just got here and doesn't understand what's going on. And 
this is all part of the new exhibition that they have at the World Chess Hall of Fame called Check Please. And it's funny because we were talking a few streams ago when I found out that they were changing the spots, you know, for for um, Kingside Diner. We were doing like uh, some talks. You guys remember uh, some of the some of the chess player inspired food menu item names that we were talking about? Um, yeah. Because it was, it was a fun time, you know, we came up with so many names, like, well, I don't want to say them right now because it's embarrassingly stupid, but, you know, we came up with some good names, right? Wait, can I take this guy? Maybe I could, yeah. Do you guys remember? Yeah, what were some of the names? How do you feel about Sarah Wontons? Yeah, it does sound good, right? Yeah. Based on Sarah one. Let's castle. And I feel like, you know, it's all safe after I castle. Maybe somehow you can mix like quesadillas with, you know, GM quesada. You know, little details like that. <laughs> it would be fun though, I mean. I am chicken and rose and Mary. That's, that's cool. Um, rose and Mary, that's funny. But okay. This position is also very funny looking. Oh yeah, Gary Kasparagos, that's funny too. By the way, I mean, no offense to this player, they're all, they're all extremely good, it's just that the names kind of sound alike. Um, yeah. Bobby Fish and Chips? Okay, I like that one. That one's cool. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we came up with some of those. Um, yeah, it was, it was a solid idea. I heard that they have a, a drink name after Fabi and another one after Kasparov, which is, you know, quite nice. Two very Yeah, he says they're great. I haven't had them, of course, but he says they're good. All right, so this is something that I missed, actually. Um... Let's see, I could go rook here, and then he would take, probably. Mm. Oh, okay. I'll be back. Cool. Mm. Let's see, how do I deal with this mess? Is there an increment on this? No, I don't know. Maybe I should just like go here. Since I still have a nice position. Mm. What should I do? Oh, there is no increment. Uh oh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, bishop c3 was a nice move. But it still it looks quite fine right now. Oh wait, this pawn is hanging. I forgot about that. Uh oh. Mm. Let's see what's going on with this game, because I have no clue. But it seems like my opponent is thinking, so it's like giving me some time. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Maybe it wasn't. Uh oh. Doesn't look good now. Maybe I can have like some tricks in the position. But I still have like no time. <laughs> Oh, they have even less time. But I have no primos. Uh oh. Okay. Mm. Hi, Imani. The cakes? The cakes are in the fridge right now. Our onion rings? Okay, that's funny. Um, yeah, GG's. Uh, I think I got a little carried away earlier. But thankfully, I don't think I was like completely lost at any point. Although, there was like this nice idea of 96. Maybe I could have played against it better. Maybe there was bishop c6 now. Bishop c3. Oh, that was way simpler than what I ended up doing. Yeah, bishop c3 is probably winning. But yeah, GG's. Okay, so far so good today. Um, should I check on the cakes to see how they're doing? I feel like maybe not yet. I don't know, I'm confused by the times. Let's play. Let's play one more and then I'll check on the cakes. <laughs> Maxime Bashir Lasagna? Okay, that's... I don't know if that's... You know, that's interesting. Okay, now we got a Nimso. No, I guess like a Queen's Indian type of thing. Exactly, chess plus cooking. What could go wrong? Nothing, nothing can go wrong here. Vampire chicken salad. <laughs> you guys are getting creative with this. <laughs> Fish stock soup a la Petrosian. It's gonna be in Vegas, so that's funny. If he wins a tournament, he'll make a bunch of uh, GMs pee pee in their pamper. You guys know what I'm talking about? You Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay. There's a lot to unpack. <laughs> it's a long story. Nigel short ribs. Ooh. Well, the joke is, I mean, I hope I'm allowed to say it, but the joke is essentially that um, I think it was like last year when they were doing tournaments online. They were doing Pro League last year or something. Petrosian was very suspicious, you know, the guy from Armenia. Yeah, so it's the joke and then the reply that he did to Wesley So after he kind of, you know, uh, pointed fingers. And uh, Petrosian said that he was, uh, he was already beating GMs when Wesley was doing pee, pee in his pampers and that just became a joke. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what I meant. Everyone knows about it. Cervantes Cervezas. Okay, I like that. That could be a drink name, you know? Um, okay, let's go here. I would say that's so far so good in this position. I can maybe put my knight on e5, you know, probably double up the rooks or something. Hi, Sean, how are you? OK, 
Okay, let's go night here. Sean was in Chicago, so I think he had a pretty good result. If there was a Cervantes meal, it would come with bread. I don't understand that one. I don't actually eat that much bread, but sure. Anise, ghee, goat cheese. Okay, you <laughs> Okay, at this point, I just don't even know what half of those uh, words mean, but very creative. Ah, because Miguel de Cervantes once said all sorrows are less with bread. Okay. Cool. I'm not related to him. I feel like I have to say that on like every every time that someone sees my name. No, I am not related to a famous writer. Okay, let's go here with the rock. And I feel like I'm not like generally worried about this knight on g3 because what's it gonna do? I like this move. And it feels like my king is relatively safe, there's nothing wrong with it. And if take six and I have whoops, takes and I have this square for the knight eventually. I wonder how the kicks are doing. Now I have to level them in the Probably do some other stuff. Oh wait, my knight. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess we can check them just to make sure. Um, wait, let's go here. I have no time. When did when? Where did all of the time go? It feels like bullet almost. Wait, let me help you. Oh, it's. Cold, that's nice. Like my heart. Um, okay, let me... This doesn't look like a nice position. I forgot some ideas. Okay, I think I have to go back. I still don't like my position. Uh oh, I just missed something. Dang it. Uh oh. Mm, this doesn't look good. Uh, what do I do? Ah, uh, run. Oh no, and I have no time. No primos allowed. Ah, uh, run. Wait, what just happened? Oh, they lost some time. <laughs> I was just doing random moves. Um, I was like, wait, my time is not zero just yet. Okay, that was funny. Um, <laughs> I also hung my queen. <laughs> but that was kind of the point with so little time. All right, that was just a really stupid game. Um, but it did feel like I have a decent position. Mm. Maybe rook f2 was better. Even here, I think ideas of f4 and then bring this knight over, those could be interesting. But I mean, at first e4 did make a lot of sense, but then I saw this f6 and then I was like, oh. Wait, I thought my knight was trapped, I can go here. What is wrong with me? I thought the knight was trapped <laughs> for the longest time and I can just go to g4. Okay, never mind, this was just uh, very silly of me. Yep. Anyways, um, I feel like we should just kind of um, get back to the cakes because that's, you know, essentially why you're here, right? So yeah. I'm gonna oh. oh! I'm going to start recording. <laughs> um, can you start with, um, uh, okay, so they're done with the room, the cakes are done, they're in the refrigerator, so 
can't come just so, because we're going to kind of come back to this. Oh. Does that make sense? So do I just say it now? Yeah. Cool. The cakes are done baking and chilling in the fridge. And now we're going to cut into them and see um, if we can not break the structure of the cakes and also chess, I guess. I don't know. I tried. Um, anyways. Ooh, it seems like it has no problem coming out, which is good. Mm. Or at least, you know, that's what I hope. No, it seems to be fine. It seems like it's okay. I wonder if I can just like flip it and then it'll be fine. Maybe if I, I would prefer this surface better. Hmm. This one might be a bit small. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's just use this, I think, if we go like this. Oh, I think it came out. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Okay. Now we gently peel this off. It's a little baked into the cake, but that's fine. This is pretty good. And then, you know, this can be like a snack later. Whatever is left in there. All right, so now comes the difficult part. Do I level this or do I not? I'm not sure of what I'm supposed to do. It's not that, it's not that like thick. I thought it was gonna be bigger, which I was, you know, kind of worried about it, but it's not that big. So I wonder if I should, if I should even like mess with it. I'm, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't cut it. Oh, maybe I should just leave it as it is and then start cutting into it. But it makes no sense, right, if I if I do that, because then it would just be all one level. I have no clue what I'm going to do. Um, stop saying that I love cutting into things. I'm not that evil. Okay, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's smaller than I thought it would be. So, um, okay. Oh no, no wait, no, I'm stupid. No wait, no, this is perfect. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And I'm gonna cut into it. And then I'm gonna use the other cake and also cut into it. And then I'm gonna stack them on top of one another. Perfect. Eventually, you know, you come up with a plan. If not, then you cry for an hour and then something will come up in that session. All right, let's put this somewhere where we don't need it, like right there. And I think I'm gonna take this away and then maybe put it like this. And uh, I'm gonna move these pieces a little bit. I was making the joke earlier, for those of you who were in Chicago with me, uh, you probably saw that most of my, all the pieces on my chest set were like this. And then I had one random pawn that looked like that, <laughs> which is funny. Um, anyway, so let's, let's uh, bring this here. And just wipe it a little bit. And then I might bring the other cake out. And, and then we can start cutting to it, I think. And hopefully it'll be fine. I don't know. Sorry for all the troubles. <laughs> cool, thanks. Um, maybe I should do the same thing that I did just now. This one looks like it's gonna come off easier. Also, I don't know if people do this at home, but usually what I do with like specifically, you know, those like yellow cakes. I'm not much of a chocolate fan. I know that that's probably gonna piss off some people. But um, what I usually do for like this yellow cakes, I kind of let it not burn necessarily, but I kind of let it like get brown. It's not just like, 
at the peak when it's cooked. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Anyways, mm. <laughs> is it wheat cake? Is that a thing? No, it's just chocolate. Um, I don't think, I mean, is, does that even exist? <laughs> I don't know, I've never heard of it. Um, yeah, I think it's like a uh, German chocolate cake or something. Um, uh, just trade and replace. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do here. The problem is that I need to do some like scientific measuring and uh, engineering and all of the stuff that I don't know how to do. So essentially what we're going to do now is that we're going to call it like this more or less, you know, like an outer. Doesn't make sense. Um, anyways, I'm just going to cut like a little edge here. And I'm going to do the same on this one. And we're going to trade spots. Yes, that makes sense. The question is, how big do I do it? I feel like around here should be okay. And then I'm going to cut the same here. And then we do another one in the center. And uh, yeah. Wing it. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, exactly. So let's just kind of like start cutting. I don't want to cut too close to the edges because I don't want it to accidentally break off. And now we just cut it up this way. I feel like it's a bad thing to say based on my reputation, but I am generally very precise with a knife. I don't want to like stab it too hard because I'm afraid that it will break. I could be saying that I'm very precise with a knife, but I remember in December somehow I made a cut on my finger. Um, it was relatively deep. Uh, trying to cut a paper cup, like a plastic cup. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. It was just a bad idea, but I ended up cutting myself due to that. Okay, now we're going to do the same on this side, I think, and hopefully it will work out. If not, then it sucks because I already started cutting. But anyway, so let's just do this. And the question is, how are we going to trade places? Because, you know, that's, that's going to be a bit difficult, I would say. Okay. Let me think how to do this. I feel like I need like a third spot. Maybe I can use this or something. Now comes the thinking part, which is where I'm not good at, so. Anyways. Oh, thanks for the sub. Nice to see you, Taurus. They have been here since day one, since I started streaming. Thank you. And anyone, feel free to subscribe so you can get more content like this where I just do stupid stuff. <laughs> you just come with me to my adventures of uh, doing things. And because it's me who's doing them, you'll probably end up in like some really convoluted plot or something. Um, I was telling uh, Ben before the hand, he would ask me, what's your best story? And then I said, uh, bombing threat in Moscow hotel while I was playing Aeroflot. You know, you just end up in situations like that when it comes to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a chessboard cake. So, yeah. Technically, I am a master chef because I am I'm a master. I'm a woman international master. I'm a FIDA master. I'm a national master. That makes me a, ch a chef master, right? Mm -hmm. Master chef. Yeah. Technically, it wouldn't be inaccurate. Um, okay, so now let's figure out how I'm going to do this, because this is going to be rough. So I wonder if I could, like, somehow... Maybe I can use this one. If it breaks, then it breaks, and I suck at this. Okay? But maybe there is a way I can get underneath this. And now underneath this one, too. I should be wearing gloves. If I 
I'm afraid to break it because I did break it at home. I feel like it's gonna break. I'm really scared right now. God damn it. Okay, I don't know how to do this. Maybe I should like put this here and then put this one more here and then kind of like, uh-oh. Maybe I should cut it just to make sure. Why does it feel like it's not cut? Okay, that should be good. Why don't you want to go up? Go up. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, this is working. Okay, this is working. I wish I had help for the other side, just to make sure that it doesn't break. Uh, Brittany? Can you please help me out? What's up? Yeah, is there a way that you can like somehow get this part so I can remove oh, yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, maybe like, yeah, or that one. And then we put it here. Okay. Yeah, just so that it doesn't break. Oh, it's not, Ooh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I can't believe that works. <laughs> Yay. Yay. <laughs> oh wait, no, I shouldn't have done that. I got chromes here. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, good. That's great. 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 Okay. Now we gotta do it with this one, which is even harder because I accidentally put the parchment paper in a way that it's just like synced in. Okay. Oh. You gotta do that right now too? Um Yeah. I feel like we could like slide it to the side. Or we could also like mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we like put it here or something. Yeah. Okay. Oh. You can grab this one, and then I'll... <laughs> That's not good. If it breaks apart, it's also like not terrible. Oh, it broke. Okay, shoot. Wait, no, it's really breaking apart. Like me. Um, yeah. Well, if it breaks apart, then it just breaks apart, and like that's that's it. Um, uh oh, nope, this one's breaking, this one's breaking right here. Okay, it's mostly broken, so I think we can just like, you know. Do you <laughs> move the center piece? Would that make sense? <laughs> um, Was this the original plan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very confused. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, we can just remove the center part somehow. Is that helpful? I don't know what the plan is. I don't know what's happening. Where would you like this to go? There. Oh, okay, that's much easier. That's much better. Okay, well, you know, it's like in chess. Sometimes, you know, the position breaks open and you're not ready for it. And uh, now you gotta have a whole new plan and calculate and do some analysis, you know, some reevaluation of the position, consider some candidate moves, and then, you know, figure out what to do from then on. Um, yeah, that's, that's just how, that's just how it is sometimes. It made no sense. I was trying to sound smart, um, but it makes no sense. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can talk about chess. I feel like that's something that I can do. If I talk about baking and like strategies, I just, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> Would you imagine, like, this is one of those videos that, like, uh, Gordon Ramsay reacts to? Would you imagine that? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> would you imagine that? <laughs> okay, that would be, that would be, um, catastrophe. Anyways, so let's, I think I need to cut this again, which is, you know, interesting experience. Um, let's do this. Sorry, Gordon Ramsay God, I have failed you. Okay. Now I gotta do the same with this one. This one, this one looks bigger than this one. 
which, you know, makes me a bit concerned. But <laughs> it'll be fine. Nothing to worry about, right? There's a lot to worry about, actually. Okay, nice cut. I'm going to do the same thing again. Perfect. Now, maybe I can move this to the side if you're willing to move. It's not willing to move. Okay. Why don't you just, like, smoosh to the side? Okay, perfect. Now we put this in here. I feel like this one I can kind of do on my own, or at least I hope I can, because it's not, like, too big. It's not what I was expecting, but... Oh. Oh my god, that was perfect. That was perfect, okay. Wait, now I need to not break it. Oh my god, that was so good. Also, like, I feel like I, I should say, I feel like I should say that, you know, maybe the camera can't really pick this up, but I have really shaky hands. I don't know if you can see. But, uh, you know, it, it feels nice when I can do things like this without just, you know, uh, breaking something. Okay, now I gotta do the same with that one. And I'm making a mess, but it'll be fine. Oh, maybe I should, I should have just thrown this one in there. It would have been easier. This is what I meant when I said that it was like surgery, because, you know, it's like... Yeah, why did I put it here? I should have just put it over there. I'm so stupid. Okay. God damn it, that was a bad plan. And I was praising myself. Now I look dumb. I may need your help. <laughs> I don't know if, uh... Yes, that's perfect, except for the fact that it doesn't fit, but besides that, it's perfect. Oh my god. Okay, great, great, great. <laughs> yeah, I can just put something, um, you know, to, to uh, uh, compensate, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's just how it will be. Also, since it's already broken, I can just push it forward. And uh, if not, then we eat the edges and like, you know, and the cake looks smaller. It's just how it is. Now I gotta put the center part in here, which is going to be funny because look at this little space and look at that guy. But it'll be fine, it'll be fine. You know, things get broken all the time. That's just how it is. Okay, so now, How do I do this in like the most logical way? I don't know how to do that. Maybe I can put like frosting in here. Would that be a good idea? Yeah, let's try that out. Oh, we got this one right here. We got this one here. This one seems to be like good. Good? Okay, cool. Okay, let me just, I need to do this. Um, just walk it into place. I don't think I can do that. Um, uh, what happened to the cake? Don't worry about it. That's, you know, you don't need to worry about it. It's all fine, it's all, it's all great and uh, it's pretty much just like my performance at Chicago Open, you know, very put together and very good and completely not losing at all. Um, what is happening here? Wait, sorry, I'm trying to get the frosting out, but I don't know what's going on here. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, but it's like... Can you show us what we're picking? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, get it to calm down, but it like doesn't want to do that. No, I think yours needs to squeeze a little. Here. 
Okay. Just a little assistance. Yeah. So many people can do this job better than me. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah, perfect. That's why you can do it and I can't. Great, thank you. Okay, now let's put it into the spots right here where you know sadness happens. Just cover it up with frosting. That's how, that's how you're supposed to do it. Why is it so difficult to squeeze? Okay, I got scared. I thought it popped at the top. Okay. Um, maybe, you know, maybe it will look fine. Maybe it'll be terrible. I don't really know. This is harder than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be easier. Um, also, I've never used a piping bag before. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> you can probably tell, you know? But that's fine. That's fine. That's what you're here for. You're here to watch me struggle. I don't, I don't think you, you're here to, like watch me succeed or something also my mom is probably very disappointed at me from, from <laughs> if she's watching the stream right now probably she is and she's like a busy woman that has a lot of things to do but you know if she is watching she's probably very disappointed at me right now um let me put some more here in this corner you know what matters the thing is that you know every time i bake it may not end up being the most beautiful thing but it will taste good. That's the one thing that I have, you know, some reassurance on. I mean, I can't really go bad. And like I said, I'm a much better, you know, cook than baker. But um, that's just the job that I got today. So some days I'm a professional chess player. Some days I'm a baker and streamer. So, yeah, I, I feel like that's a decent job. You don't need to, you know, you don't need to go into details on it. So let's just put this back right here and I think I'm gonna just like real quickly smooth it all out and good now this needs to go if I can do it right and it won't break maybe I don't know if I'm doing this wrong. Feels like I am. I feel like it's sticking to a parchment and that's probably not good. Wait, 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 wait. Before we do that, the smart thing to do is get this guy out of the way. And then we put this one right here, which is a, it's a mess, but it'll be, huh? Or I can, oh, no, 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 wait. I can just move the parchment right here. <gasps> Perfect. Because at the end, or should I put it on top? No, no, it's fine. Sorry, I'm just very confused. <laughs> so we're running really low on uh, space, so I'm gonna have to stop. But um, just so I know when to start recording again, what's no, the I end think result? This would be... Does it look, is it kind of like that, or does it have like an icing totally across the top of it? Hopefully it has one. Has one. Topping across the truck. Uh, okay, now I'll yeah. then. All right. We don't have to do a time lapse, unfortunately. What? We don't have the equipment. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we didn't get this one out of the way, but that's fine. I have no idea what's happening now with the stream. Also, no, I can't eat all of this. My grandma is watching. Oh, no. That's not good. Ah. Okay, shoot. Oh, it feels like that part is breaking. Oh, it's working, kinda. Oh, that corner. Oops. No, I don't think that will work. This corner's Yeah. Uh, okay. It's kind of, ah, it broke. Okay, let's just, okay, well, that's just how it is. That's just how it is sometimes, you know, it just breaks again, and then it's like when you lose again in a game or something. Anyways, that's just how it is, so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's fine. No one will see it, it'll all be covered up, so, eh, who cares? Now, uh, I don't wanna keep using my hands. Let me just wash my hands. 
I don't have like gloves or anything. What are people seeing right now? Are they seeing well, anything? We're, we're still alive, yeah. Oh, you're still alive. Yeah, oh. it's just the finished product is the, the World's Hall of Fame presentation. We're not going to get all of it, which is fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. So that means I can like talk and say whatever I want? Yeah. Cool. I don't have anything to say. I was just wondering. Um, all right, let's get this guy here. It'll fit. Like me in this dress. Uh, <laughs> uh. Ooh. Yay! This is how it was supposed to go all throughout. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't. Anyways, you know, it's me who is it's it's me who's here, right? So you you do kind of expect like some destructive uh, something. <laughs> Anyways, shall we? I think we should like make like a little coat um, on top of this and then we can kind of like go into into um, like the next part yeah it was satisfying right it was satisfying that part so I think now we can take like some of this frosting and hopefully just like put it on top if that's okay, if it won't break, if it breaks, then that's that's terrible. But you know, maybe we can like just put it in the middle or something. Also, I don't think it fits for this cake, but um, usually, you know, the way that I like to eat cakes the best is with um, uh, like tres leche style cake. So usually, uh, if I'm making a cake at home and I am going to be one of the people enjoying them. Um, usually I add, a, yeah, I blend like regular milk, evaporated milk and condensed milk together. I put it in the blender and then um, I poke a lot of holes with like a, they're like a toothpick or like a fork on the cake. And I put it on like a big bowl where it has a lot of space. And then I dump all of the milk mixture in there. And then I let it sit for like, well, you can eat it right away, but it's best when you let it sit for like a couple of hours. And that's, that's, my, that's my favorite type of cake. Um, all right, so let's just really quickly try to cover everything up. Sorry if I'm more quiet on this part, it's like, you know, sometimes you actually need to focus on what you're doing because otherwise it will be terrible. You know what's funny? I don't think we'll get to use the cake stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm, I'll be very afraid to transfer this to somewhere else. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how it is right now. And in case you just got here, which is very surprising because I've been streaming for a while, in case you just got here, we're doing kind of like a baking stream and I know it looks really weird, but it will be fine at the end of it, I promise. Actually, that's a terrible promise to make. But you know, I can, oh my god, I made a little hole here. Oh no. Uh, it's fine. Just sit in there. And... Uh, what was I gonna say? Ah, yeah, that this is really weird, but it'll be fine at the end. Or so I hope. Let's really quickly just put a little bit on this side and then we can move on to the other part. And I have some white frosting too that I can put on top. Okay, I'm not doing a great job, but like who really is in life? If you think about it, like who really is doing a good job? Not many people, so it's fine. <laughs> It's all fine. Um, also, my hand has frosting now. I'm gonna just like wash it or something. Oh, that's good. Never had frosting before. At least not this one. All right. Um, 
Hi, Morfinski. Yeah, we got cake. That's good. Um, all right, so now we're going to go on to part two of this uh, bizarre plan. Maybe I should have just covered this spot better. What is part two? Put the top on. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's part two of this really bad surgery. Imagine me as your surgeon. <laughs> you get put into a, into like a anesthesia, you know, and you feel it washing over you, and then the doctor comes into a room, and it's me. How terrible would that be? Um, all right, now we gotta do the other part, which is bringing this on top of this, and I don't know if there is like a Maybe I shouldn't have used this one because now I need to wash it. But now what we need to do is do the other part of bringing the other cake on top. And then we can decorate it however we want. Not however we want, but like however, you know, my skills take me to, right? I would say that it's decent from afar, right now. Would you guys agree? Um, don't kill the cake. I'll do my best. It's already, you know, kind of dead, but eh, it's fine. Okay, now needs the part of like bringing this here. I could also... I feel like it would be a bad idea if I just somehow, yeah, probably flipping it onto here is a bad idea, so I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, now we're on to part two of this thing, and I'm in the Britney again. Frick. Dang it. Okay, Britney, I might need you again. Sorry. But this is like a hard process. Also, I never watched any videos on how to make this, which is probably a mistake. Um, but we need to bring this to here now. Okay. And that's going to be that's going to be rough, but um, especially because I don't know how to get this one like through that surface. Mm -hmm. I get, maybe I can get a better angle. Woo, it's freaking right there. Oh, no. Okay. S sorry about that. Ooh, Maybe I can use this right here. It just has cake on it. Maybe I can use this to like get this part up. Oh my god. I got a spatula. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine we need Ben 2 on this machine. <laughs> Wait. Uh, no, I think it's gonna break. Okay. I think maybe you, you, you like need to put it. <laughs> this is all fine. This is just, you know, how it is sometimes. And uh, here? yeah, I think it'll be good. Hopefully. I don't know. Oh, no. Eee. That's it. Perfect. Just gently let it go. Oh my god, no, this is breaking right here. It's fine. No, it's fine. Is it breaking? I don't know. It will taste the same. And also, way. it also looks the same. It will look the same and taste the same. Maybe I should have cut the edges. Uh, well. You can still cut it altogether. Yeah, I could. But I would say that this is going pretty well. Now, the only part is that this one. Um, this one is a mess. So. I think I'll just try to gently, you know, get it to here. And then from then on, we can kind of like slowly figure out what we're going to do with it. And, you know, that's how it is sometimes. It's what I've been saying this entire day. That's how it is sometimes. But, you know, the, the idea is that you're putting effort into what you're doing and uh, uh, I feel like you can definitely see my stress here, so let's just, you know, plop this there. 
And now we use the frosting again to fix all of our mistakes because that's, that's you know, what you do. You use frosting to fix your mistakes. So let's try this again. Maybe I should use the white one. I think it'll be interesting just to change it up. And uh, all right, let's use this white one. And let's throw that in there. And let's pop this out. Oh, this one's runnier. And now let's just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's going so much smoother. That's nice. Um, all right, let's just pull up this there and pull up this here. And I would say that for the most part, it's all like pretty good besides that. So let's just pull up that there. And uh, yeah, it should be fine now. It's all good. Oh, oops. Okay, let's put this here now and I'm so happy that like we're almost done we're not really done but you know this is better than I expected I thought it was gonna fall apart on the entirely you know I thought that it was just gonna be a lot worse than how it actually was so let's just do that and now we plot the center <sighs> I'm so nervous. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say I'm doing decent. Uh, it could be like a lot better, but it could also be like a lot worse. So now we pull up this in the middle and then it has like some frosting on it. Anyways, we pull up down in the middle and let me go get this white thing again. And now we put the frosting into the places where it uh, maybe doesn't fit. And that's fine, you know. Like I said, you can cover up your mistakes with frosting and no one will know. Especially if I use like the fondant now, which I don't know, I've never ventured into that. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the model of the story is uh, just buy cake. <laughs> just buy it, yeah. Anyways, so yeah, this is all looking pretty nice, I would say. Yeah, maybe I should put a little bit more frost into fix that more even. And that feels better. Cool. Also, my feet hurt. I shouldn't have been wearing heels today. Um, anyways, this looks great. Um, okay. Perfect, we got most of this part done. Now I wonder if I should just put frosting all across it and then like maybe try and cut up some fondant for it. I wonder if that's a good idea. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that. So let's, you know, let's start, you know, maybe piping all across the top and then see how we do. And if it sucks, then it sucks. I mean, what can you do? Um. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyways, um, do you guys have any chest questions for me? I thought that I would like answer a few. Okay, we can leave it at that for now. Yep, then I can come back to it later and get some more. Uh, mm. No, I am not adding vodka and sugar, especially because uh, I can't consume it then. Um, okay, it looks decent. Doesn't look too bad. Like it could be a lot worse, I feel like. I should probably add more now. 
I never realized how much frosting goes into cake. Maybe it's just me for not knowing how to do it, but I never thought about it. I wish the levels were more even. It just looks like a really weird dome right now. Okay, let me get the thing back. Stop doing that. Okay, let's hope that we can like make this a little bit even. And we can put this through here, we can get this to this corner, never forget the corners. Night on the rim, flux dim. Did you guys ever hear that? I didn't grow up, but I heard it recently. Anyways, let's just kind of like pretend that we know what we're doing. And put this all across the top. I don't know if I should put it on the sides. I have the feeling that I should probably cut the sides, but I don't know how, I don't know how good of an idea that actually is. Hmm. Maybe I should just so that it's a little bit even. Maybe I should do that. I hope it doesn't break when I do that. Maybe I can use one of these knives to do that and just like chop chop and it'll be good. Right? Oh no, I have the feeling that it won't be good. Maybe I just got like the bottom one a little bit. There we go. Because I feel like if I cut the top one, it's just going to be like, um, it's just going to be like, uh, it's gonna fall apart, I feel like. So let's just, Okay, that feels nice, so I can taste the cake now. How much ELO has the cake? Mm. Um, by the looks of it, I would say maybe like 1300. So that's good. Okay. I've also made a mess. So that's that's not great. Hmm. Not okay. Now we gotta put frosting on the sides. And I feel like in general, like I see so many people who like have like a I would say like a four digit rating. And then they say no or I ask them, right? Like when did you start playing? And they have a nice rating, like, I would say 1500 plus, and then they're like, oh, I started over quarantine, and it's like, wow, how did you get so good so quickly? I feel like I see so many of those people nowadays. Uh, I feel like we're almost done with this part. And that's decent, and then we go to this side, and then we smush it all out. And now we do this side. I don't know if this is how I remember it, but I was like a very sucky player the first couple of years that I, that I was into chess. I mean, I did have good results, but it also feels like I was kind of a bad player. Maybe it's just because I didn't have an actual rating, so I just, you know, I wasn't so sure about it, but overall, you know, it kind of feels like I wasn't that good when I was younger. And then, you know, with time, I eventually kind of tried to understand more my play and stuff, although I still have no, like, definitive idea of how I play, because it feels like my... I can't see this part. How did chocolate get there? What? But I feel like um, it's hard to even like for me understand my chest style. So seeing people like, some of them are like 2000 and seeing them, you know, do so well, if they started playing so recently, 
Although I guess, yeah, 2000 online is not the same as 2000 over the board, but seeing them do so well from so recent is, you know, very impressive. All right, I think it's good for the most part. I can't really see from this side, but I think it's kind of all right. And now I think I may just try and put fondant on top of it, but I think before that I need to clean the up the surfaces a little bit so let's just eat some of this cake <laughs> okay now i need to clean this up let me put this away somewhere and what else should i do i should throw this out and then i should get this night out of the way yeah, let's get this out of the way too. And maybe we should get this out of the way too. And if I need it again, I'll wash it. If not, then I'll also wash it. But okay, let's try and clean up this a little bit. Um, okay, um, I don't think so, but I also felt bad throwing it away. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, let me just get like a paper towel and then clean up this guy. I don't like to cook while everything is messy. Same way that I don't like to eat while everything is messy. Because I kind of take it as like a relaxing thing. And I hate it when it's all messy. I'm by no means an organized person. I'm really not. But, you know, I also don't like to see the mess. Um, am I going to eat a chess piece? I feel like I've done that today, right? I had a pretty good score against you guys. So... I would say that that's quite decent. Especially with two queens. I took two queens uh, during my games. I feel like that's very, that's very impressive, no? In the first two games. Um, yeah, it was a piece of cake, exactly. Um, Did I call the knife a knight? Uh, I don't think so. Also, I didn't realize you were here, otherwise I would have given a shout out. Uh, okay, there we go. Damn it, I'm not logged in. Can you please do it? Logged into what? Uh, into Twitch. Can you please give a shout out to Ray Robson? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I streamed once in eight days. Yeah, you. I mean, like you stream when I don't stream, and that's uh, that's that's crazy. I guess it's good though because that way I get to watch. And I tried to watch the other day, but it's like the second time that you stream, and I am packing to go back home from a tournament, so it doesn't really time well. But eh, it's fine. I try. Um. Ah, yeah, and he was streaming with a phone, too. And, uh, yeah. Is it someone's birthday? Probably, but I don't know who. I mean, it must be someone's birthday today in this world, right? Oh, my God. Okay, what do I do now? Okay, do we want the cake to be generally white or black? I feel like both of them are fine. I probably should go with black because white is just gonna get like so messy with the color. So I'm gonna try the black one. And I'm gonna get my hands so colored. <laughs> That's dense. <laughs> That's so funny. Am I supposed to roll with this? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna get tangled. What? Okay, I don't know what that means, but. Um. Uh, shouting out. Imagine if shout outs, oh my god. 
If not, then this idea will get scrapped because I'm really s struggling. Although I would, I wouldn't particularly call myself a weak person. Okay. Oh my god. Why is this so difficult? I don't want you to see me struggle in the stream. It was all supposed to go smooth and nice. Um, god damn it. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there like a is, can there be like some alcohol bottle here from someone that you know was like here earlier and I can just use it as a rolling pin instead of this? <laughs> is it is it illegal to show that on stream? Um there must be, I mean right? You checked. <laughs> he checked. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Yeah, position is slightly under pressure, yeah. I can't believe how I'm supposed to roll this all the way so that I can cover all of that. Also, why, why are these things here? This just looks silly. If not, then I won't do this and I'll just like, I don't know, cry or something, but dang it, this is hard, but we're getting there kind of, imagine that it now just like sticks to the bottom and then uh, I have to suffer. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably get this out of the way and then, wow, I'm so smart. Okay, perfect. No, that was a terrible idea. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> just cooperate. Why don't you just cooperate? Perfect. Okay. Why can't you be like this from the beginning? Um, yeah, I need a bigger rolling pin for spreading, but also for hitting someone. This is a little uncomfortable but you know maybe we'll get there at some point it's like you know like a technical win in the game and then you don't win for like the next 40 moves really there's no like something that I can use instead of this maybe I can use like the bottom of a pan and it will like grow bigger or something <laughs> Do you think I can just like... Doesn't quite work. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. What happens if you warm up fondant? Anyways, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think that did anything. I think... Take back that idea, unfortunately. I don't think it helped. I'm not going to smash it with my hand, it just feels wrong. So, also, don't look at my nails too much. They're not that great. Oh my god, why is this so difficult? Could there, could there be like, maybe like some rolling thing here or something? It's fine, we'll get there. We'll get there at some point, hopefully. Wait, will it stick to the bottom? Okay, no it doesn't, okay, that's good. I was worried there for a second. It's kind of somewhat working, but it also has like this weird lines that I don't like. Maybe I should take this off. Oops. 
Is this the St. Louis Chess Club kitchen? No, this is a warehouse that they kidnapped me to. And now I'm like somewhere in Kansas City. Yes, that's right. Definitely not in the GM house. Is this marzipan fondant? I don't really know. I have no clue. Ah, this is difficult. But we're kind of like almost getting there. It's not the best, but best is not always best. But I mean, it's much better than at the beginning, right? Maybe I just have to do this for a while, but you know, it's much better than how it was at first, right? In a slice, in a scale of one to ten, how good is this cake? I would say like maybe. Um, well, I made it, so it's obviously a ten. Yeah, that's that's what I should say. Damn it! Just roll. Why don't you roll? Why is this difficult? Someone is coming here. It's kind of working, I would say. This is still not enough for like the whole cake. So maybe I need to roll it more. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm already struggling enough. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> uh, that's because you're from afar. Yeah. <laughs> Also, look at this drawing pin. <laughs> I've been struggling here for so long. Is that even a real rolling pin? That's like the worst rolling pin I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, rook and roll. That's a good one. Yeah. Rook and roll. That's, that's nice. As you can see, I also have like this cutouts. Maybe I can just do that too. Oh my God, why is this taking so long? It's funny because I'm a chess player, but I'm also a very like desperate person. I don't like waiting. The only waiting that I can do is during a chess game. But like in general, I don't like waiting that much. Or like doing things that take a long time. Whew. This is really a workout, you know, so like if you want to ever like bake, consider it a workout and then you get a treat at the end, which is nice. How long have I been doing this for? Do you know? Three hours. Three hours? What? This is so difficult. Yeah, tomorrow my arms will be like more sore than what they were after I got my two COVID shots. So that's great, of course. It's kind of getting there though. I still don't think it's right, but it's kind of getting there.
Is this like good enough? I don't think it's good enough for the whole thing. Maybe I can like... I think it's too thick. Maybe I can like flip it and then keep working with it. Oh, that's better. I feel like we're getting there, kind of. Thank goodness this wasn't a bigger cake. Otherwise, you know, it would be lots of struggle. Whew. I feel like you guys are getting like so many memes today for content. Also, I love how professional this is going to be for the Chess Hall of Fame. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if this is good enough, like big enough for it. I'm not sure. But I also don't know if I want to keep doing this. We can try, we can try. Okay. It's good, kind of. Well, a little bit. I would say that it's a little bit like, oh no, I touched it. Dang it. Oh no, I keep doing that. I would say that for the most part, it's like quite decent. No need to worry about this that much because like, um, I'm gonna like keep putting some other fondant stuff on top of it, but like, oh, is this to press it? Maybe this is a stupid idea, but I, I mean, I'm gonna have fun with it. Let's pretend that this is doing something. I just think it's funny. It's probably not doing anything, but, whew, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, now we transfer this to this so that I can see it better. And maybe this is for like the sides too. Ooh, this feels nice. It feels right. I don't know if this is what you're meant to use it for, but it does feel right. Um, so yeah. Oh, I struggled for so long with that. And it doesn't even look that great, which is the funny part, but you know, it's fine. Now let's cut this here on the sides. Let's cut the excess. Now what do you do with this fondant? I don't know. Then you cut the edges here. Maybe I should press this one better. Oh, but it already has cake frosting on it. Let me just clean this up and then you like press it. I'm sure that's what you're meant to do, right? I have no clue. Okay, now we take away these parts that are not going to be used. <sighs> that's a thing of a chess player, right? That, you know, you gotta figure out the problem. And you gotta, you gotta, um, uh, you know, come up with solutions, you know, to the problems, yeah. Oh my God. This has been so difficult. Okay, now I gotta cut some edges on the other side. Mm. Okay, perfect. And now let's cut off this side too. And 
this part right here is the only one that is a little bit messed up. That's okay. I can actually like maybe use this part to cover this part up. <laughs> Perfect. No one will notice. No one will see. <laughs> Okay, I feel like I gotta wash my hands. I have way too much chocolate and frosting in my hands. You know what's the funny part? That now I gotta do the same with the white frosting thingy. Whew. Okay, now maybe time. Oh, I almost just tangled myself. Um, now it may be time to like move this away, perhaps. It doesn't look that great. It's like all right at best, but you know, I don't. We all like that. Let's leave this here. And yeah, I can't believe it's been three hours either. Um, my voice sounds different in the kitchen. Was it, what does that mean? I thought it would sound the same. Maybe it sounds different when I speak English and Spanish. That's something that I have, you know, uh, heard before. But when I'm playing chess and when I'm cooking, I never heard that my voice is different. It also depends on the day. Some days I sound happier, some days I don't. Just kind of depends on the day. All right, let's just... I am more relaxed. Okay, I'll take that as a compliment. Um, okay, now we're gonna use this other fondant with like the, oops, sorry. With like the little silly rolling pin, but I'm not going to struggle this much on it. I think I'm just going to like, what should I do? Should I cut like, Little squares and try to make a chessboard. Maybe. Ooh. This is hard. Or I, I also have like this things which are like maybe way too big. But I can just like blow up pieces, you know. I can also do that. Do you guys have any recommendations of what you want to see? Ooh. Ah, why is this so hard? My mic went off? Oh, did it go off? No. It shouldn't be What? Wait, what is happening? There's no problem. Oh, are you guys just strolling with me? Okay, audio is good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Ah, dang it. I don't know if I quite like the strolling pen. Anyways, what do you guys think? Should I like cut like those big chess pieces? Huh? Oh, you want to use a cookie for this? Okay, we can use those. I think they're a little too big from for this, but um, you know we can we can still shape out some stuff. Ooh, this is hard. I'm gonna be so ripped by the end of this. The microwave idea is good. Really? I feel like I should burn something if I put it in the microwave like this. Also, it feels like I'm like close to getting there. So maybe, maybe I'm not, but I like to think I am. Actually, I'm very far from it. The other thing I was going to do is I was going to like maybe cut a bunch of white squares to put on the cake and then we do like a little board at, t at the top. Oh, maybe I can do that in like some spots. Okay, that's interesting. I just had an idea. Okay. 
This is so difficult. I am a weird looking chess stream. Oh no, this is a weird looking chess stream. I was like, what? Yeah, this is a weird looking chess stream, but you know, that's how it is sometimes. I got a little bit of the make have a kind of a little bit of cake on it. It's fine. Worst case scenario, you know, we just like don't look at the exterior. It's like, you know, it's like with people, you don't look at the exterior, you just, you know. Try to understand if they're nice and sweet and if they're good for you. And don't look at the outside of the cake too much. What matters is the inside. Yeah, I just, I feel like that's an excuse for the cake looking like crap. <laughs> okay, let me just keep doing this for a little bit. And then maybe we'll get somewhere. I don't know. Ah, oh, this looks so hard. What am I preparing? This is supposed to be, um, this is supposed to be a chess cake. Oh, you're right. This is like a squeeze for the games. Would it be called a user? I'm still not sure what the meaning of that word is. But yeah, this is pretty much like in a game when you're doing the squeeze, you're trying to Beat your opponent senseless to the point where he wants to cry. Actually, I feel like that got a little out of hand. Oh, I kind of don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> this is way too difficult. Holding the roller under hot water. Oh, maybe that's one idea. Let's try that. Let's try that. Whew. the water isn't hot here it's just weird um so i don't think i can do that unfortunately but it's weird the water doesn't come out hot here that's strange um okay i am doing constant progress so that's good that's the one good thing Also, I feel like we're close to like start shaping some stuff. If I come into it now, is it like too thick or something? Maybe I should flip it so that like it becomes easier because the other side, I don't know, is different. Oh my God, why is it this color? What just happened? Why is it like this? Oh my god. That's weird. I don't understand why it's this color. Is it okay? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe we got some of the black one because we put one on top of the other. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay. That's fine. If it's that, then it's okay. I thought it was something worse. Yeah, I 
think we're like almost ready to start cutting stuff. <sighs> okay. Maybe we should try, let's try cutting some shapes into this, okay? And see how that goes. Mm. I wish I had something to lift it up with. Mm. Let me just get this real quick. I'd say that this skin looks nice. Uh, maybe I should. There we go. Sir, would you please like to? Oh my god, that's perfect. Shall we put it somewhere? Like here? <gasps> that's looking good. What? <sighs> okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I'm very patient. I I don't understand why or how, but you know, it seems seems like it's kind of working. Also, I think I'm gonna um like cut a few. Squares here. Let's see how that goes. I feel like I almost cut my finger just now. Okay, perfect. Now I need to get this guy far away from the rest. Great. Then you flip over to this side. Then you flip this. And this one is a little too thick, actually. I need to roll it out a little bit. But essentially, what I want to do I feel like a knife would be better. Is there a way I can use it? Okay. Sorry, like I said, I think I'm more precise with knives. Which probably makes me look really bad. I'd say that this is like about how I want it. Maybe like this is better. Perfect. Now I'm gonna cut down the middle. Okay, let's try. How about we put it like here perhaps and then this one here does that look bad no. <laughs> thank you oh it looks kind of cute actually Mm. 
And it's starting to get shape, I think. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe now I can do... I don't like how it has like the... It just not clean out, but... What to do, what to do. Okay, now let's do... I believe this is supposed to be a queen, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can like make... No, oh, it's a little weird. Do you think that's accurate? I feel like it's going to this side. I don't want to break it either. You guys think it looks good? Thank you. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I feel like it could be a lot better, but for someone that has like a maybe 1000 rating at baking, maybe it's okay. there. I don't know what else I should do. I have no idea. Is that better? I don't know. What do you think? What's up? What do you think? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it looks good. You think so? I don't like it. You don't like it? Look how cute. What do you think? I think it. Really? Yeah. Do you want to give a conclusion? Um, should we like open it? Yeah. Okay, let's see. And there's my cake. <laughs> and then I can turn it over and then well, let's cut into it. Yeah. <sighs> oh. They're saying don't overdo it. Okay. Agree. It's good how it is. Ah. Uh. Okay, cool. So let me just clean this up a little bit so that it doesn't look so bad on the sides. Um, yeah. Do you need this little uh, utensil? Oh no. Um, gosh, I hate it. Anyways, <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Um, let me just. Maybe I can clean the sides. I don't think I can like move the whole cake, but. Oh, yeah, I was going to clean up the sides before you do that, oh, but um, like try to make it less, more professional, I guess I should say. Like I said, what matters is the inside, right? That's right. Yeah. Also, like this is my first time decorating a cake. I've never done that before, so I'm not like... I'm not like too, too mad at it. Maybe I can, uh, wait, let me see if this side, oh, this side is the one that is a little messed up. I wish I had the little thingy that you press with. I can just throw it here. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I should add like anything else. No, we should sign off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, you guys are saying that it looks really good. Thank you. That's so nice. Also, my feet really hurt because I've been wearing heels for so long. But um, yeah, I guess this is kind of it. I don't know if there is a good angle for it. Um, I'm trying to look for one, but I don't see it. Anyways, um, you want to take a photo? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. How about you like hold it toward me? Imagine I drop it. 
Like, like this? Yeah, yeah. And then like... Ta-da! Yay! Okay, perfect. And cool. Then present it and say... I don't want to like so tilt it. finished product and then let's cut into it. Oh yeah, we should probably cut into it to see if it works. Um, well, here's the thing. Do we want to save this for the Hall of Fame production? Because we can only cut into it once. Yeah, we want to save it for the Hall of All Fame All right, production. so we can sign off the stream now. Oh, okay. So you guys won't see it being cut open, but it will be, apparently. And... Uh, wait, you're saying I bought it? Did you just like log in here and you did you not see like my last three hours of work? Um, <laughs> but if, if you if you are insinuating that someone, you know, would sell this and I paid for it, I guess that's a good thing. Um, anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys had fun today. Um, it was really fun. And yeah, we'll cut into it at a, a later time. And also, I believe uh, it's going to be posted. Mm -hmm. um, in July with the World Chess Hall of Fame. So, yeah, if you can, is there a way to check out like the exhibitions from online? Yeah, there's going to be all kinds of content. Um, there's an exhibition page on the website right now, and then there will be like virtual tours and things. Ah, so, and, so yeah. And your video. I guess my video, the, vis the uh, virtual tours, and also you can come in here and check out the uh, check please mm -hmm. exhibition and opens tomorrow. yeah and then uh, you know if you're in town go to Kingside Diner it's pretty cool also chess is gonna get interesting this upcoming months with the um, in August they have the um, the Singfield Cup and the Rabbit and Blitz and all of that stuff and also now in July they have the juniors and I believe the seniors too I'm not entirely sure but um, yeah, so it's like, you know, I, I would say that summer it's kind of like the best time to to come here and maybe like enjoy the vibe of the Central West End and the St. Louis and all of this area. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Go follow my channel. I have my own channel, Tally Tally 26 Go follow it if you can. And join my Discord because I'm very active there and then I usually announce when I'm streaming. And I guess that's about it. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> it will be the world championship cake. I don't, <laughs> that's too much. But yeah, it was fun being here. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys. Oh, Caleb is here. Congrats to Caleb for winning his section in the, in the Chicago Open. Yeah, and I'll see you guys some other time. But I'm bummed.